Defender. Mr. Good Driver may think he can let his guard down. Yo, what up gang? Welcome back to Grapple. In today's video, you already know what we're gonna be doing. We're talking about SpongeBob mistakes. These are going to be spicy. First up is the episode Ma and Pa's Big Hurrah, an episode where SpongeBob's parents come back for the first time in like a long time. Take a look. Well, we'll just have to grow a new home. And in the meantime, we can stay with our son. Hello? Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Your house? Oh, no. Stay with me? Why, of course you can. I just thought of something. My parents haven't seen me in a while. They'll be expecting their son to be a little more, well, adult. And look at me! Fun, dear. I'm looking forward to hanging out with a hip young urbanite like our boy. <laughs> huh? Hello, Mata. Peter. This is truly a pleasure. Man, it's really cool to see Harold and Margaret square pants back in Bikini Bottom. But this time around, SpongeBob is very different. He's turned into a very boring old man. Here, take a look at these clips. We also have the first mistake. Hopefully you guys can spot it. Four o'clock in the afternoon. What do you say we sneak out and have some fun? Way ahead of ya. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Mr. Mature, it's time for you to have some fun! It's Bikini Bottom after dark, baby! <laughs> this one is pretty straightforward. So as you guys know, this is Conch Street. It's where Squidward, Spongebob, and Patrick live. And as you can see, Patrick's house is right here. But in this shot, they just didn't draw Patrick's house. And like, dude, look at the gap. It should be right there. So talk about a mistake. Let's move over to mistake number two, though. And let's see if you guys can spot this one. Excuse me. <laughs> Now, to be honest, I personally had a hard time finding this one, but take a look at this nurse right here. As you can see, she's wearing these fresh kicks, these fresh shoes, but as SpongeBob runs past her, they just forgot to draw her feet and the shoes. It's a really weird animation error. Like at first she looks like this, she has shoes, but then she looks like this and doesn't have shoes or feet. Weird. And I have one more mistake, so yeah. This one happens really fast, but as Harold and Margaret skate their way back to SpongeBob's house, Harold's sleeve is uncolored for a few frames, resulting in it being like blue. It's supposed to be white, but it's blue. So yeah, three mistakes in this one episode. It is a good episode though, but let's move over to another season three banger. Next up is the episode The Flower Pot. Now, this episode is pretty good. It has an interesting plot with Plankton coming up with a new scheme. He's actually pretty smart this time. Here, take a look. Well, you two, I'm leaving for good. Karen and I are gonna travel the world before I take it over. <laughs> bye bye then. I'll see you later, kid. <laughs> I already miss you! All right. Farewell, Krabby Patty Secret Formula! Farewell, Bikini Bottom! Yeah, right. 
Man, I'm surprised to see Spongebob so sad, especially after all of the things Plankton's done over the years, but anyways. Our first mistake was actually in the set of clips I just played, so I'm gonna play the one clip again and let's see if you guys can spot it. Keep those eyes peeled. Farewell, Krabby Patty secret formula. Farewell, Bikini Problem. Did you spot it? Well, here's the thing. Normally the chum bucket's doors has windows, right? But in this one shot, they're just gone. The animators just didn't draw them. And that's not the only mistake. Here's another one. You stop by any time, huh? Any hardcore SpongeBob fan like myself should have caught this one, like right away. But normally, this is how the Krusty Krab looks. And as you can see, we have a Galley Grub sign and an Order Here sign. They've been here since like the first season. Well, in this one shot where Squidward declares his love, <laughs> is very funny. Well, where is it? Both the galley grub menu's missing and the order here sign is missing, making for two mistakes in one clip. And don't click off yet as we're going to move over to another episode, Yellow Pavement, which has even more mistakes. Let's go. So as I just said, the next episode is Yellow Pavement, and this is really cool, as if any of you have seen the Season 5 episode Boat Smarts, they're very similar, where it's Miss Puff presenting an educational film about driving. Here are some clips. Check for tire pressure. <laughs> It's a bit of a weird setup for an episode, but I totally get it and I'm into it. It's really funny seeing all of the different driving scenes. But let's get into the mistakes. They're spicy. Here's mistake number one. Here we have the cunning little old lady. Uh... This one happens really fast, but as Squidward, like right as he goes off screen for a single frame, there's something up with his face. Looks really odd. I'm pretty sure you guys can figure out what's going on here. I feel bad for Squidward. But let's move over to mistake number two. This one's even crazier. The common fruit vendor. <laughs> driver may think he can let his guard down. So right after Squidward nearly kills this like orange version of Patrick, like doesn't this guy look exactly like Patrick? He eventually runs into these two dudes carrying a piece of ice. And take a look at this incidental right here. As you can see, he's wearing his work uniform, which is brown, but take a look at like his arms and his chest. As he's wearing like a blue shirt underneath the brown part of his outfit. I know I'm really explaining this, but remember this. As when Squidward jumps the piece of glass, look, that undershirt has completely changed and it's now the same color as like the brown part. It's just all brown. I'm kind of overthinking this one, but hey, it's still a continuity error. And let's move over to our final episode for our spiciest mistake. And last but not least is the episode A Skin Wrinkle in Time. Now, this one isn't necessarily new. If you're a longtime SpongeBob fan, it came out a while ago, but it's still a really good episode and I found a new mistake. So let's just dive right into the mistakes. Here's the first one. It's really bad. Sweet Neptune, have I found the beginning of the universe? <laughs> 
When Grandpat arrives in this place, we get a shot of the Krusty Cantina, and it looks like this, right? You can see that somebody hand wrote it, and it says Krusty Cantining, right? Which is incorrect, because in every other shot, it looks like this, and says Krusty Cantina. It's supposed to look like this, Krusty Cantina, but the mistake is that in this one shot, it was written incorrectly, and it says Krusty Cantining, whatever that means. It makes no sense. But let's move over to this episode's second mistake. <laughs> Well, this is my stop. See y'all later. Get out there. Man, Grandpat gets himself into some ridiculous situations. But anyways, as you can see, this cowboy looking dude right here, he has a long sleeve t-shirt on. And at the ending of the long sleeve t-shirt, there's like these cuffs on his white shirt. But as he jumps for about a frame, these change to the same color as his skin. So a really weird animation error here. Like, I don't know how the animators messed it up. It's very strange, but that's probably going to do it for today's video, guys. Like I said, I like, I'm not sick, but my voice, is like very off. I guess my throat is irritated or something. So I apologize if I sound kind of weird today, if my voice crackles, but I love you guys. Thank you for watching today's video. Shout out to the Grapple Gang. Yo, and shout out to the Premiere Gang. Everybody at the Premiere right now. Yo, 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 yo. Wolf, my boy, Bob Cards. You guys know who you are. By the way, if you're new, make sure to subscribe as I'll be responding to the comments of all subscribers. So it's that simple. If you subscribe right now and you comment, I'll respond to your comment within the next two to three days. So yeah, and lastly, on Saturday, guys, I'm live streaming and doing the Grapple official Cartoon Cory face reveal. So make sure to turn that bell on. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.